Your validation of IPM technology. Something is valid. That means what? Authentic. Yes or no? That means suppose in a specific area with this, this kind of key paste you have taken these measures now you have to validate that no these were uh, these are authentic one these are accurate one yes or no that one is what your validation of ipm techniques okay for validating a ipm techniques the following information may be vital for this meaningful uh, ipm validation what are those one by one we'll discuss first one is analysis of the context and definition of the paste problem what is the paste problem we have to understand Second one is formulation of this IPM modules. Third one is your selection of farmer and collection of the baseline information. Fourth one is your orientation phase. Fifth one is your farmer's field school. Sixth one is provision of uh, critical IPM inputs. Seventh one is your collection of data and impact analysis. Okay, one by one we'll discuss. You now you see first one is analysis of the context and definition of the paste problem. Yes or no? That means suppose in a particular area, in a particular agroclimatic zone, what are the crops they are growing? Suppose they are growing crops, which varieties they are growing, whether uh, hybrid or the local one. That means you have to know about the crop. Yes or no? What is the crop production technology? What production practices they are doing for protection? All those things we have to know in a proper agroclimatic area. Okay? So based on the information gathered from this, whatever the uh, data you will take, you have to make some analysis of the cropping system. What are the key pest problem and then characteristics has to be made. What is second one? Formulation of IPA module. That means if you gathered whatever the things, whatever the crop, whatever the protection practices, whatever the key pest and all. Now what you need to do, you have to formulate some IPA module. That means some management strategy you have to develop, yes or no. Management of key paste in that area, keeping in mind farmers practices. What farmers are practicing, we have to modify that in such a way that it will be helpful for the farmer. But we have to uh, give consideration to what it must be eco-friendly as well as farmer friendly. You see, first thing is you have to think about this environment. Yes or no? So suppose I will tell, <coughs> no, you go for a BT cotton, you apply only BT biopesticide, you apply only this trichocard and all. Okay. Is it possible? No, it must be farmers friendly also so that uh, now we are growing the crop is farmers immediately should get the result. That means immediately the pest should be managed. Yes or no, it's not like that. I will use the trico card only because it will be environment safely. Not like that. Huh? We have to think about the farmer. We have to think about the ecology environment also. Okay. Third one is your selection of farmers and collection of baseline information. What is that? You see, if you uh, just choose some farmer which are very laggard, which are not well developed, simply they are growing one acre of field or uh, some few areas, uh, is it possible for encouragement, motivation? No. You have to choose those uh, farmers which are uh, somewhat successful one and those are famous people. Yes, and they have larger area. Okay, they can cooperate and all. Okay, okay. those key farmers must be chosen. Baseline data about the village and the participating farmers must also be collected. Once the IPM succeeds with a few farmer, then it will spread faster among other in that region. If those progressive farmer will succeed in uh, what uh, taking up those action, then definitely what will happen? Those what laggards, those uh, what uh, failure farmers, they will also try to motivate it by that. Yes or no? Huh? So you have to choose those key farmers. Next one is orientation phase. Now what you need to do, this is a key step in validation of IPM. It may come in the exam. Uh, out of which phases, which is the key step in validation of IPM. What is that? That is your orientation phase. Okay. Now what will happen? There must be interaction with the farmer through. There should be interaction with the farmers through audio visual aids. Yes or no? This uh, what? Video we can show to them how to do, what to do, when to do. Yes or no? Charts can be shown. Yes or no? Photographs can be shown. Pamphlets can be given. Okay. For their encouragement and for their understanding. Okay. About the crop, varieties, paste problem, production and protection practices and constraints in raising crop ears, you have to show them. Okay. Such approaches would attract the farmer towards improved crop varieties, modern production practices, what are the key paste present? What are the natural enemies associated with that key paste? And the IPM practices to be validated. Those has to be validated. Okay. So here what we'll discuss, why you have to take, what you have to take, when you have to take, how you have to apply. All those things of IPM has to be explained to the farmers. And the IPM technologies are demonstrated to, to the farmers. The farmers field school, that means now you have 
told them yes or now you have told them you do this one you do that one you do this one but now what will happen now the problem will come while applying those methods while apply applying those techniques now the problems will come yes or no it is easy that you sow the seeds you water you you uh, you do the weeding plant will come yield will come but is it happening so many problems are coming in between yes or no same thing will happen now to evaluate yes or no farmers field school suppose everything happened you have shown them they have started now what will happen timely you have to go for monitoring yes or no once the farmers have adopted the program regular interaction must be there yes or no in between the farmers and between in between this extension worker through what through this ffs farmers field school at least once in a week during this critical cropping season where the um, pest may be more more yes or no where this disease may be coming okay at those uh, crucial timing you have to do that one okay the day the date time and venue for ffs must be prefixed yes or no so that easy coordination will be there the key farmers must be encouraged to take up leadership of this ffs yes or no those are the key farmers which are doing actually okay they should take the leadership along with the extension worker yes or no under the supervision of scientists or field technicians okay usually such meetings are held in the crop fields as otherwise in panchayat office or in some schools okay during holidays that can be done now coming to the sixth one provision of critical ipm inputs <clears throat> what is that this is needed to attract even marginal farmer to adopt new practices yes or no which seeds are available which biopesticide they can use this use of pheromone trap light trap quality chemical pesticides yes or no application equipments etc must be ensured to the marginal farmers also at last collection of data and impact analysis yes so now what will happen data will be collected by adopting this 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 technique what we have done whether that is reach the uh, what uh, aim or not whether we have successfully reduced the pest or not what were the problems happen everything will have a data and we can make a module no if this is the condition you do this 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 thing so that your yield can be increased pest problem can be decreased <laughs>